Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Switchy. Yes, it has been a while. Probably like four to five months since I've last uploaded. Well, there's a big reason for that. And this thing is probably gonna continue for a long time. Even after this, I'm not fully free. I will be free after like February to March. Cause like I have exams coming up and a lot of stuff has been happening. So everything is kind of in a mess at the moment. But anyways, we are here to check out a new game on the channel. Not even on the channel, but even on Roblox itself. It's called Drive World. Now this game just came out like probably about 8 days ago as of the time I'm making this video. And for it being such a new game, it already looks really nice and really polished. For example, all of the UI you see and everything just looks so much clean. It really reminds me of like the old days of Driving Empire, like Wayford and stuff. Enough said, let's actually get into the review. Okay, first thing I want to say is you can vote for the next race. So like, it's a server-wide thing. Now, for example, now we have the overpass jump coming up. And another thing you might notice is that every race has some restrictions and it also has this like rating system of cars, which is really cool and not a lot of games have it. I've seen a few games who have incorporated this function in their games, but most of these games still don't actually have an overall rating, which is really cool. The racing is also really cool, like it's very arcadey and it's very fast paced which I really like. The races don't last that long. It's really interesting. Let's go here. And in this short like race you will also see how good the camera is. For example, this the camera feels so action packed, like everything the camera starts shaking when you hit stuff and like there's this looseness to it when you turn it's really interesting you can also see how we're getting miles it's very interesting it's kind of like forza as well there's a lot of stuff inspired from forza here for example we have this like place thing laps we have this multiplier which actually shows how much you're making at the moment there are a lot of ways in which you can make money for example you can do drifts you can just drive around you can do jumps if I can even find a single jump. I did see a jump, I'm gonna turn around. Never mind, there's a jump right here. For example, if I do this, you can see we're getting like some airtime bonuses and stuff. And I'm just com completely going into a spiral of 360s. Yeah, which is really cool. This is really cool. And just the way the map feels and the earning system works, it's really unique, as per se. The car list is actually not huge. But it's good for release game. Like we have some few cars which are pretty interesting. For example, we have these three cars which are part of a car pack. And yes, they do have car packs like Driving Empire. We also have a Golf R which is really like, okay, I get it. But it's essentially the same car. A Tesla Model X Plaid. It's got a 1008 horsepower. Of course it's gotta be a plaid also. It does have a yoke steering wheel, so that confirms that it's a plaid. Would I pay 130k for this? Probably not. They also have the Lamborghini Huracan Sterado. This is like an off-road version of the Huracan. And perhaps you guys might have already noticed this, but the Lambos look a little bit different compared to the original Chronicles. Like this is a Sian. But they do look a little bit different because, you know, Lamborghini is like suing, not even suing, like Lamborghini and Roblox are not on very good terms. They have like issues and stuff. Alright, next thing I want to say is that this game has quests. Like in Driving Simulator, I think. Wait, did Driving Simulator have quests? I know Drift Legends had quests. Like. There are the daily quests like play for 15 minutes, do 3 races or drive like 40 kilometers. Yes it is kilometers because I'm from metric, I don't understand American units. Alright, another thing which is a very good like quality 
of life feature in this game is that let's say you have, her, you have your car spawn and let's say that a friend of your joins not only will you get oh god okay not only will you get all of these bonuses right here but you see that your friend is in the server you can even easily find out where he is that's pretty cool but let's say you're even lazier than that and you just don't want to go so what you can do is that you can just hit the hit your friends like profile or like your friends face and you can easily just teleport to them which is so cool let's do that again you can just teleport to them with such a quality of life upgrade i haven't seen any game do that it's like teleport to your friend this is really nice really interesting by the way there are also these like boosters on the ground this is really weird it's, it's kind of like burnout need for speed and forza had a baby or something and also about the fact that of making money making money in this game is not particularly hard as what i've noticed like i got 350k in like probably a couple hours of playing so it's not too bad it's of course I'm just a beginner when you actually have a stable like money flowing in it's probably going to be much easier but yeah that's that oh by the way it does have nitro and the nitro also makes the game feel much more fast paced than it should be because there's camera shake and stuff alright now coming to the meat of the game the elephant in the room the magnum opus of this game the customization this is absolutely insane for example you have the typical stuff like engine you know okay a lot of games have that body sure rims sure tires sure suspension sure brakes sure i guess pain and plates you know this is pretty common but especially if you're going to engine you have a little dyno with the power and torque graphs which actually change when you change these upgrades and stuff for example as you can see my car is making about 1195 so like close to 1200 horsepower and it's probably making like let's say about 890 900 pound feet of torque it is so cool it's, you don't see that in a roblox racing game all that often probably like anything anyways you can change a lot of it. You can even engine swap your car. You can even swap in an inline 6 or a freaking V12. You can swap in a freaking V12 into a Challenger. You can do crazy stuff. You can change the pistons, the crank, the exhaust, the aspiration. Do I still have a super power thing and supercharger. I should have upgraded this, but I can anyways. You have intakes, clutch, and nitrous. If you go to the body, you can change the trunk, that, that there's this little lip spoiler right there. You can change it to like have a smooth spoiler like the standard Porsche GT3. Or you can have that little ducktail spoiler. You can even change the spoiler to have no spoiler. Have the stock spoiler or have all of these spoilers. Which look pretty nice if you ask me. You can even change the seats to have this like sport bucket seats to have the more comfy seats like the more comfortable GT3 seats You can even change the front mod like the front bumper and stuff For me I had this like tow hook You can even add a snow plow I don't know why you would add that to a 525 horsepower track beast Anyways you can even add a truck bumper, a Rudolph's nose, this looks really cute, oh my god, that looks so cute. A safety bumper, a Christmas bow, if you want to gift it to someone, I don't know who. And you can even have front lights like a freaking Group B rally car. Rims, you can change the rims, not too much to say about this, it's just pretty similar to what you have in a lot of racing games. Tires, you can have like off road tires or race tires. Suspension! Suspension I have not touched yet, but you can change the ride height, the offset, the camber, and you can change the 
stiffness of the shocks or the dampers. Now let's do another race and we're gonna wrap up the video there. Okay, a lot of people in this race, probably not gonna win, but we're still gonna try. Although it's restricted to 600, so that doesn't leave a lot of room for improvement, especially for the high tier cars like this. But anyways, that's that. I got 3,472 cash, which is a decent amount, I would say. I think it increases the more uh, players you have. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty much what the game has at this point. I'll probably make more of this because this game is really polished and really well made for how long the game has been on the platform. But yeah, stay tuned for that, and I'm sorry again for not posting for a while. This schedule is probably gonna be gonna stay like this for a while until I get things sorted out. But yeah, that's about it. Have a good one, guys, and see ya. Mm -hmm.